For educators looking to bring AI to their students' fingertips, what's the best way to implement this type of curriculum? Joan Watson wrote the book on it, literally. It's called Learning with AI, and Joan is here in studio with more on her new guide for harnessing AI. Pleasure to have you today. Thank you, Akshay, nice to be here. And congratulations on the book. Thank you. Incredible. We'll talk about the specifics of this in just a second, but I want to take a step back and kind of talk big picture. How prevalent is AI curriculum in classrooms right now? Is it something that teachers are still a little hesitant? to incorporate. Absolutely, and that's going to depend really on where the schools are. Um, I, a lot of um, school systems have not wholeheartedly adapted to these new tools. Some of them are not going there at all, which leaves teachers just kind of free to explore, experiment, um, and a lot of teachers I feel um, still are a little hesitant to make that step just because they aren't sure what they're getting into because there's been bad press, there's a lot of things about sort of the, the dark web and AI and they're gonna take our jobs and um, it's a very different enterprise than all of that. So just generally speaking, there has not been a widely accepted or adopted AI curriculum yet. Yes. yes. So you have written Learning with AI. What do you feel is a um, traditional age range where students can actually understand and grasp kind of a very abstract idea of machine learning. It's, it's a science that is changing and um, the more information that is accessible to these, uh, you know, the algorithms adapt and the, the concept grows and these large language models are just that, they're getting larger. And one of the things that we do know about AI and natural language processing and machine learning and human computer interaction. These are very huge fields that have lots and lots of rabbit holes and they connect with almost everything that we do on the internet with our computers. Um, so the best we can really do with our students is maybe not try to teach machine learning when they're trying to just use AI for other types of um, assignments across the curriculum. Instead, it's really important as part of um, AI literacy to let students be aware that some of the information they receive from AI is not always going to be accurate. So they should always question where the information is coming from and be very careful about how they use that information. So really a, a, a big part of this less about teaching machine learning and more about thinking, critical thinking, teaching critical thinking. So that's okay. that's the real focus, I think. You, you mentioned kind of the hair on fire moment when <laughs> computers and the internet, you know, came into existence and the, the slow, um, I guess, um, incorporation of that into our school systems. Um, do you, looking into the future, how far away do you think we are from all these these students taking part in daily AI courses? It's now a part of everyday curriculum. Right. Well, there is there. It's important to learn it because students will get left behind professionally in the professional world. They need to understand how to use AI, what it is, what it does, what the downside is. So AI literacy, very, very important. Um, there is no classroom of the future that will ever take the place of a teacher. Um, in fact, all of the school systems that I've talked with, that I've read about, they the, the mandate even nationally is there has to be the human in the loop. The teacher has to be in the loop. Um, and so it's very, very important that teachers understand what it means to be AI literate and try not to be afraid of it. And a lot of that fear can really be mitigated through really good professional development. Um, and, you know, books like mine, there are, there are many others also that are very accessible and starting slow. Um, is is a really good <laughs> good advice. A really good idea. <laughs> Slowly yes. embrace it. That's right. Um, okay, where can folks get a, their hands on your book? So, um, if you're at the NSTA conference, you can go by the Hub store. It will be there. But um, also, Amazon has it. Johns Hopkins University Press um, are selling it. So. Yeah, look me up. All right. I'm around. Happy buying. <laughs> thank thank you. you so much for the book and thank you for your time today. Thank you. Looking for more science education content? Click right here to find the NSTA TV playlist and enjoy.